Um, Radio. Right, yeah, let's move on to something else. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that there, but I'm gonna create a new simpler. So I'm just gonna drag another blank instrument up here. Open that out, and let's have a go of. These are both some just recordings of existing songs. Okay, so let's let's see what we can do with this one. There's going to be a few options here. So double click on the track to get to the device and we'll drop that in. And I'm going to leave it in classic mode for a moment. And straight away I'm going to adjust the start time. So if you have a look here, just to make sure that it starts. So instead of taking a while, it's going to start straight away. Okay, let's have a quick look at warping because we skipped that last time. And I'm just going to... So with warping turned on, it's going to behave like just like warping does for audio in clips, um, which means instead of stretching the sample, so this is going to play back normal speed here, faster here. And much slower an octave down. Okay, so the pitch and time are affected together. Warping is, as as we've sort of looked at previously, a way of um, being able to change the time or the speed of playback, but keep the pitch. The sorry, the other way around, change the pitch um, and timing independently. So let's leave warping on, and I'll play. So this is normal speed. <laughs> fast or high so you'll notice the pitch goes up but the speeds the same and then I'll do same with um, with lower note as opposed to warping off okay so let's leave warping on and the algorithm here is going to affect how that sounds. So, so it's going to, you know, it's going to make quite a difference depending on these algorithms and that they're obviously good for certain things. Um, but when it comes to using simpler in this sort of way, um, I find just experimenting, do, you know, use the beats algorithm on something vocal and see what happens. So I'm going to move this over to here. And let's have a look what we can do with this one. So I only want this little section of the sample to play, I think. And classic mode we've looked at, so let's go into one shot mode. So some of the settings change down here. Um, the envelopes and looping features change. So instead of having a full um, ADSR, Attack the K Sustain Release, we only have um, a fade in and a fade out for one shot. So one shot's a mode where generally it's going to play from start to finish. Um, whereas in classic mode, it'll play according to the envelope that you set. So if you've got no release and you let go, it's going to um, stop playing, but in one shot mode, I've let go of already. So there's no looping and there's a different um, fade in and fade out. So you can see you can go up to two seconds fade out. And as I said before, it's going to sound different on different algorithms so, compared to... So complex is a bit smoother in this case. And it's 
they're the basic features of um, one shot mode uh, I'll leave it there for that so start and end um, and using fade in and fade out let's look at slicing now so let's just quickly compare Just quickly, um, this also expands out like the EQ. So this is just a nice view where you can see what you're doing up here with the waveform and the parameters associated with that and then also here. So with that closed in, you've got your sample and controls tab separate and with that expanded up, puts the samples tab up here and the controls down here. So I'm just going to have a look at the um, the different pitches. So I might bring this one up using um, transpose. so that these two are somehow in tune with each other and you notice I haven't got out the tuner um, you could do that for these um, I'm gonna leave it there and just do it by ear in this scenario